Okay, this piece is leading through the graveyard. And uh, the four paintings that I'm showing in the gallery have to do with entropy. The idea that uh, systems tend to proceed from order to disorder. And in this particular painting, Whistling Through the Graveyard, it's sort of what I see us doing collectively in the face of climate change and burning fossil fuels, we tend to just turn away from it and we're essentially whistling through the graveyard. We're drowning out a problem, you know, by with the noise that we're doing. So this painting is a representation of that. And uh, the other three paintings have more to do with terrorism. So entropy, entropy as concerns societal norms with terrorism and uh, the things that are happening right now. I was, there was something that I was talking about that they It's the same time I was painting that thing, when I was I trying to put that. Was he that you used a flower there as well? Is right. that the movement power? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and, and, and in this case, it's the, it's, the, it's the loss of that, you know, like, like I want to believe that women are stronger than men, but have greater power than men. I do, I want to believe that. I mean, I This I is a couple that. that I ran into at McDonald's over on Divisadero. And as when I saw them, I immediately knew that I've got to photograph these two. This is uh, this is something right out of Grimm's fairy tales. He was he was strumming a mandolin while we were in the McDonald's, and uh, I went over there and gave him my business card and said, "I wonder if you would mind me photographing both of you. I find you extremely interesting." So we just went outside, and this is the background of McDonald's, and I shot it with a small pocket camera, and uh, I think it's one of my best shots. You got more for your um, your solo. Gratifying to me to see people standing in front of this painting and kind of talking and trying to figure out what's going on. Some of the students, what what they see here, and some of them are seeing things in terms of forms and all of that. But one kid was talking to me and I went into an elaborate thing about the church and the way we relate to the sky. And you'll notice in a lot of these, it's about the sky. It's about the kind of objects that we put up in the air. The mission of the church was in a conversation with the sky because it was a belief that God was in heaven and all of this stuff. But now we've unconsciously done all of these things, all of these intrusions, and it's become another kind of statement. So that's some of what I'm doing when I'm doing this kind of work. It's actually 
looking at what's up in the air and what we're unconscious of and bringing it into consciousness as an image. So for me, this whole painting was kind of a dialogue with the church in the sense of what's happened in the church, what's going on, who's conscious in the sense of I'm thinking or there's an idea that's trying to be expressed and sometimes I don't know what the idea is, but it's you just follow whatever it is. Right. Well, so this is where I sit in meditation and I notice. Yeah, yeah. Then you put the hand for it now. Yeah. Let's tell you that the one thing that I'll say to the artist who did that to the one thing that I'll say to the artist who did that 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 to the art